I'm Tim Tully. I build from so many vendors, and people are building these insane architectures that are extremely complicated with tons of moving parts, right? So they're complicated, they're over-designed, they tend to be pretty expensive. But this is like the timeline that pretty much everyone shows going back to, say, the 60s, right? You had IBM. I mentioned this earlier, cloud service providers, they leveled the playing field. It really made it so anyone could build a company in the cloud, right? You didn't have to have a data center, you didn't have to buy a bunch of gear and rack it up and have people living in the data center to pay attention to the network, putting top of rack switches, none of that has to exist, you just you buy compute and storage. So if you're building a modern data stack today, this is just like what I could think of off the top of my head. Like, what are the concepts you have to think about if you're an architect at some small to medium sized company building a modern data stack? It's all of this. Like, look at the rate of these data projects over time, right? If you go back to so the current modern data stack days, which I would say is around here or so, the projects are growing and there's a few of them, but they're mostly like in here, right? Suddenly the entire community is latching on to the modern data stack and just growing it. Various open source projects with the time that the open core version of the project was created, basically when it was a company built out of it, that's what's happening right now. You're trying to build everything, right? ETL pipelines, ML pipelines, you have to solve governance and compliance. You have to build your data lake or delta lake if you're Monte. You have to be on-prem. You have to be in the cloud. You have to be in VPCs. You have to have a bunch of downstream stuff and upstream stuff because the data mesh has to be built now because the media is telling you to build a data mesh. It's just way too complicated. So I'm actually advocating for reducing the modern data stack complexity and actually doing less and sort of coalescing pieces of it so that you have fewer vendors doing a little bit more. And in essence, that's essentially what HTAP is doing, and that's why people are so drawn to it, right? It's because you're basically simplifying life for people. Starting a company today, I would definitely simplify everything. I would not go with that insane sort of market maps or the A16Z sort of architecture that you saw. I would actually reduce it down to something like this, right? So there's this concept of the data mesh on the left, which is basically tons of data sources, ten, tons of consumers. That's, that's the data mesh.